Hey everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. How do you like my funky beach hair? Straight out of the ocean, folks. See all that curl? I have naturally curly hair, like Joanne the Happy Mail Stamper curly. Um, so I have to straighten my hair. So this, even short, it gets all funky, curly, and weird. Um, I came home and found Miss Kathy is amazing. Cats All Create, as usual, comes in and saves the day. So she despite being in the middle of a cross country with like relocation, despite being a mom and having tons to do, she goes off to Tuesday morning, finds the record ephemera and got one for Miss Margaret and a backup one in case Rosita can't find hers in that prize pack. So Kathy Catzell Create saved the day for our record ephemera challenge. I am so grateful Kathy knows that I've been texting with her tonight. I'm super grateful to Kathy because it would have taken me three weeks to send it to you. Danielle graciously offered also thanks to Tree, but that also would have taken two weeks. So this way, Kathy's putting it in the mail tomorrow. You guys will get it right away and you have until August 1st to alter the record. So Kathy, you totally saved this challenge. You're an amazing human being and I'm so grateful for your friendship. Folks, if you don't already subscribe to Kathy's channel, which is Cats I'll Create, you should. Not because she's like super supportive of every challenge we do here, but she's supportive of everybody. Have you noticed in the last week how many challenges she's participated in? How many people are unboxing her submission? That's because she just wants to support everybody. She has a super generous heart and despite being a really busy lady, always finds time for everybody. It's She's remarkable. And not just because she's my friend, but because she's remarkable. So I'm going to put her address down below. Go check out her channel if you if you don't already subscribe, honestly. And also her work is just really beautiful. If you take a look at like some of the projects she's made for BB Crafts, she does a really good job, sometimes with some very strange or funky craft supplies. And she'll make something beautiful out of it. And she makes beautiful flowers. She's really like a really talented lady, but also just a really nice person. So when you have a moment, go check out Cats Up Creative. And if you haven't subscribed to her, please do. I am excited to be home and looking at your videos. Uh, I only have a little bit of energy left in me. We did a lot of swimming. A lot of swimming, folks. It was a lot of fun, though. I have to tell you something, um, which is so not craft related, but it's important, I think. I think I saw the most moving thing I've ever seen today, and I have to share it with you. So we were down at the at the Dead Sea. We went all the way to the desert and down to the Dead Sea, which is like a two-hour drive. And we were swimming, and all of a sudden a group of young people, all under the age of 25, arrived. A whole large group, like 10 young people, and then another 10 young people, also under the age of 25, in wheelchairs. And most of the wheelchairs were electric wheelchairs. Okay. So they took all these pictures with mud. You know, there's a thing about in the Dead Sea, you put mud on your skin, you bake it in the sun, you wash it off. Okay, they did that whole thing. And the whole time I'm thinking, how hard this must be that they won't get a chance to float in the Dead Sea, right? All these young people under the age of 25 that will never get a chance to float in the Dead Sea. And this is where my mind's at watching this. The next thing, I swear to you, the next thing that happens, the 10 other people who are not in wheelchairs with these people lift these people one at a time and carry them into the Dead Sea and help them float. I'm not kidding. And the lifeguard came down and stayed with them to make sure everything was okay. But every single one of those young people helped another young person float in the Dead Sea today. And I started crying because I have never seen anything like this. And you want to know what's wacky? Okay, so while I'm crying and I'm crying and I'm thinking this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, then they were all having a great time together. It's not like the 10 people that were helping were like uptight and nervous. No, they were having a blast with their partner that they were helping float and they were having the best time. And I thought, this is maybe the most amazing thing I've ever seen ever in my whole life. And I had to share it with you. Uh, it's an organization that does this and other trips like this for people living with things like cerebral palsy it was the most moving thing I've ever seen, ever. And I had to share it with you because it happened today. Um, to watch a group of young people experience the Dead Sea who you would never imagine could experience the Dead Sea was like an uplifting moment. And to see the other young people help them do it kind of made me think that, you know, there's, there's a future for humanity. Because if these young people are willing to do that, what else will they do for this world? That's my thought for this evening. All right, folks, that was it. I um, hope you've had a great Sunday. 
I had a wonderful day at the beach. I'm super grateful to my friend Kathy. I'm super grateful for each of you. I'm really fortunate to have had that experience today at the Dead Sea, to see other young people working like in partnership to make beautiful things happen. Um, I just had a really blessed day. And so I'm feeling very, very grateful today. And that's it. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.